Hey everybody, we just finished making an instructional video on how to make this cute little saucer. So go ahead and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Do you have a question? And other than that, good luck. First thing is first, the way I figured out how big I wanted my collar is I knew that I wanted it to extend over her shoulders as well as under her neck where she was plucking the most. What I actually did is I took a bowl that seemed to be about the right size and I just drew a circle. And same thing with this one. And of course, I cut both of these the same size, but they definitely do not have to be perfect at all. So don't be too worried. <laughs> From there, I just take this and fold it into kind of a little pizza. On the one that is going to be on the top, I actually cut it um, fairly large. You can see I kind of do a semicircle. Um, this one was too small, so I went ahead, folded it back up, and then cut it larger. This one's gonna be on the top, so it didn't need to be perfect. Okay. Is that what you think, Sweet Pea? The one that's gonna be on the bottom, um, I'm a little more specific. I try to cut it so it would be fairly snug around Sweet Pea's neck. And then in order to make sure that it goes on and stays on, I put these little slits in. So again, it's gonna be easier to get on and it's just gonna um, be easier. It's gonna stay on easier. From there, I actually pin it together um, so it'll be easier to sew. And then I go ahead and just start stitching. Obviously, you can use a sewing machine. That would be the smartest, but I don't have one. Um, so I sew the outer edges maybe an inch from um, the edge. And then I go ahead and do another layer next to the neck. So now we've got our little saucer and all we have to do is just put our little head in there and voila.